What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch back here with Dilly Vanilli. We're here to talk about another slot corner buster screen from the New York Jets to the Chicago Bears. The Bears, I think the interesting reason we really want to talk about this one, because screen, mm -hmm. you know, he's not like a household name or anything, but it's interesting no. because the Bears, they did have Callahan, who was ranked very highly this year by Pro Football Focus. I believe in the top five for the corner position, if yeah. I'm just going to look right now, he was ranked seventh. So he was one of the better slot corners in the league. Now, remember, Bryce Callahan did get injured in that wild card game against Philadelphia, which allowed Golden Tate to have a very nice game. And then, uh, so we know it, uh, hit the post. And then the Eagles Ooh. go to the divisional round. So... Callahan was a huge part of this defense and Callahan is likely to be gone given the money he's going to get from another team, not named Chicago. So buzzer screen is going to be that replacement. Now can buzzer screen be as good as Bryce Callahan? No. Probably not. No. You know, he was ranked, I think like 96 spots worse than Bryce Callahan on pro football focus, but he <laughs> is a decent player. And I think, you know, Part of the fact that he wasn't that great last year is because he played for the New York Jets. And he played 14 games for the New York Jets. Eight pass deflections, 58 tackles, half a sack, one forced fumble. He's a pretty good player. He is getting a little bit up there in age. And I wouldn't be surprised if he continues to decline. He was a pretty, pretty darn good player like a, a few seasons ago. And he's just seemingly declined ever every season since, you know, past defense really have shown that I think 2014, 18, 17 and 2013, 10 and 2012 with the Cleveland Browns, he goes to New York and those drop below 10. So he hasn't really been the same effective player that he was for Cleveland when he was in New York. Maybe that's part of the scheme change. Maybe that's part of being a jet and they just stink. Now on the Bears defense, I think corners in Chicago really benefit from the fact that they have such a good front seven with Akeem Hicks and Khalil Mack that you can get away with having, you know, average to below average corner play. Dylan, what do you think yeah. about this move, bro? I know you're not a Buster Screen fan, so give it to me. I'm not. First off, you were almost correct. He was 96 spots down from... Uh, Isn't that what I said? You said 100. You said oh, You said 100. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 103 cornerback in the game. 57.3 is as great. So uh, they call him average, but I don't know how 103 in the cornerback department is average. Um, here's the thing. I don't like him. I don't like him all that much. He's a fifth. He was a fifth round pick in 2011. So like the expectations were not very high to begin with. He spent four years in Cleveland. Went over to the Jets. Spent another four years. So the consistency is there, I guess. Um. The thing is about about the Jets. I mean, Jamal Adams had a really great Pro Bowl year as a you know as a defensive back there in the Jetsville this year. So there's one thing. Again, two completely different players, but they still play on the same team. So I'm saying that there can be success if you play in New York. Um, Chicago. I I don't. I, the only reason that I like this in any way is because you have to replace a guy like Callahan, who is going to be leaving for a lot of money, and you aren't going to pay him. Otherwise. I'm not a fan of this. I don't think that this is a really great guy. He's going to be 30 next year or when the season starts. So uh, older, you're getting older in this position. Uh, th the defensive seven, this is still a really great defense, even with Buster Screen as you know their cornerback, whatever it is. They still have a lot of great talent, and it's left to be determined if Adrian Amos leaves. If Amos leaves, I think this is even worse. But you still have a lot of really good talent on that defense. I'm just not 100% sold on – this effort for Buster Screen, just replacing the guy is probably the best thing I can say. But other than that, not well, not not a fan. One of my least favorite signings of free agency. So I'll give you a very big negative and two positives. All right. So Dilly Vanilli would be backed up with the fact that Buster Screen gave up a hundred and twenty-four point two passer rating last season. Wow. But. He did rank as one of the better slot corners in run defense and pressuring the quarterback. So if you're going to send a blitz with him, if you're going to stop the run, he can do that. Last year, not so good in coverage, which is kind of essential if you're a corner. 
We'll yeah, see if that. he can turn his career around. We can see if he can get back to that Cleveland day type of play. Buster screen signs with the Chicago Bears to replace Bryce Callahan. What do you guys think about this move? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you in between? Leave your comment below. Gronk spike the like button and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.